with my friends in the class. I like learning. Wednesday marked the first day of classes for students at the English Montreal School Board and here at Carlisle in town of Mount Royal. Teachers, students and parents are eager for the start of another school year. This elementary once faced closure, now it's thriving as the EMSB marks its 25th anniversary. I'm excited to meet my friends and my teachers. I'm feeling nervous for grade 6 because it's like, I guess it's like the hardest year. And I'm going to be leaving Carlisle probably, so I'm going to like miss it. I know she's happy to see her teachers, meet her new teachers and her friends. So uh, Anna Maria loves the Carlisle community, so I think it'll be a great year. Back in 2012, I believe we were up for closure for our enrollment, and so we applied to the uh, to be a candidate for the IB school, and uh, we got accredited, and we've been open ever since, and our numbers haven't been higher. Despite the excitement, the issue of teacher shortages looms across the province, with the Education Ministry reporting on Monday that they were missing around 1,800 teachers at the start of the school year. There are a few positions that need to be filled at our school still. The workload is high. We love what we do, but the support needs to be in place for sure. It certainly is a little bit discouraging because we can put um, teachers who are qualified and have them in this position and have that support. We've been working very hard throughout the summer, career fairs, looking uh, to recruit uh, interviews around the clock. Um, the important thing is that in every class, even if there is a substitute teacher, it's a qualified teacher that's there. It's not, uh, you know, we're not looking to fill spots with high school graduates. Uh, there's no babysitter there in the classroom. It's really a qualified teacher. So I'm very confident that uh, by next Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, every class is going to have a full time permanent teacher. I'm going to see all my friends. I'm going to have like the best moment. Um, it's my last year, so I'm going to have fun. And a reminder for those driving in school zones, lower speed limits and higher fines are among the measures being implemented by the Quebec government to make the province's roads safer for students. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.